Hi there, welcome to another video from Hegarty Maths. It's Mr Hegarty here and this is our second video on sequences and series for Core 1. We are again going to be talking about the nth term of a sequence but this time we're going to be working out um, which term of the sequence or which n gives us a particular term in the sequence. Right, let's just do examples straight away. Example 1, so copy this down. A sequence has nth term given by the formula un, this here, is equal to um, uh, 5n subtract 2. And it says find the value of n for which un is equal to 153. So we have to find the term of the sequence, the which uh, number term of the sequence gives us this. So what we're going to do is we're going to make the nth term equal 153 and find the end that makes that happen. So tell the examiner what we're doing. We are solving 5n subtract 2 is equal to 153. To solve for n, we're going to add 2 to both sides. So we're going to get ourselves that 5n is equal to 155. And then we're going to divide both sides by 5 to undo 5n. And we're going to get ourselves that n is therefore equal to uh, 31 you get. And it said find n. We found the n that works. If I put n in here, 5 times uh, 31 is 155. 155 take away 2 is 153. It's correct. Next example. Similar example. A sequence is given, has the nth term given by this. Find the value of n for which the nth term is 149. We're going to solve n squared add 5 is equal to 149. I'm going to subtract 5 off both sides to find n and I'm going to get myself that n squared is therefore equal to 144 and I'm going to take the square root of both sides and I get n is either positive or negative 12. Now n has to be positive when you're talking about the nth term of a sequence because you can't have the u minus 5 fifth term of a sequence for example so we're going to say ignore negative 12 and we're going to state that n is therefore equal to 12 and we're done next example example 3 exactly the same thing we want to find the n such that the nth term is equal to 72 and here's our formula for the nth term so we're going to solve n squared subtract 7n add 12 is equal to 72. This is a quadratic which I can only solve if I have one side uh, equal 0. So I'm going to subtract 72 off both sides and I'm going to get myself n squared subtract 7n subtract 60 is equal to 0. And then I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to negative 60 and add to negative 7 because I'm going to try and factorize the quadratic and I get n subtract 12 n plus 5 equals 0. So on the one hand n is 12, on the other hand n is negative 5, but I said as before I ignore the negatives and I have n is 12 is my answer. Okay, the last question is a slightly different format. Uh, it's using the same idea but it's just a tiny bit more complicated. So let's have a go at this one. It says, so copy this down, that a sequence is generated by the formula un is equal to an plus b. Now remember, this n here is the nth term, and that matches that n there. a and b in this case, so a and b are just numbers. That a and b, they are just numbers. Usually it would be 3n plus 5 or something. a and b are just unknown numbers. They're nothing to do uh, with the nth term of a sequence. They're just unknown. Uh, known and we can find them out. We are told some information. So let me write down that un is equal to a n plus b. Now we are told that u3 is equal to 5. So if I put 3 in here and I put 3 in here, I know that I'm working out u3 and that is equal to a multiplied by 3 add b. Now we are given that u3 is 5. So I can state straight off that u3 which is 5 must be equal to a times 3 which mathematicians write 3a add b yeah and 
they have also told us another fact that u8 is equal to 20. So let's think about how we could actually uh, use that. Instead of putting in 3 into this formula here, we could obviously put 8. So I could put 8 in here, and I could put 8 in here. u8 is equal to 20, so I could say that 20 must be equal to a times 8, which mathematicians write as 8a plus b. And the question has asked me to find a and b, and I've got two simultaneous equations that will do that for me. Call that equation 1, call that equation 2. I can solve these. The easiest way is probably to do the whole of equation 2, subtract the whole of equation 1, because I've, both, I've got b in both, and that would eliminate b. b take away b is 0. 8a take away 3a is 5a, and 20 take away 5 is equal to 15. So I can say that 15 must equal 5a, divide both sides by 5, and I would get a is equal to 3. If I substitute back in sub a equals 3 into the easiest equation, which is 1, I would then be solving 5 is equal to 3 multiplied by 3 plus b. 5 is equal to 9 add b. And take away 9 from both sides, b must be equal to negative 4. And therefore, that is my answer for a. b is equal to negative 4. And I have solved this problem and uh, done the question. So I hope that made sense. Thank you very much for watching.